So yesterday we did slice in array. Today we will do another topic of array that is called splice. This is it is different than the slice. So it is called splice. So let's talk about the splice today. So there are a lot of array functions which we have to do and this is one of the method. So what does the splice do? The splice method adds or remove items to or from an array. So when when we when we saw the slice we were able to fetch or we were able to take the part of the elements from the array into new array. But with the splice, we can remove item or we can add item also from an array. Okay, so one thing you have to remember that here original array is modified. So in splice, we are modifying the original array. So whereas when we go to slice, the original array remains same as it is and whenever we did call the slice, the part of the data was taken from the array and inserted into the array 2. But with the splice, we are modifying the original array. So that means the array which I will take, it will be modified. And whatever method I will use for the splice will be returned in this. So here, when I took array 2, I was getting let's say Mumbai, Los Angeles and London. So that was a part of the array 2. Similarly, when I use a splice, this array 2 will have that the part which is removed, but the original array is also modified. So if I do some example, you will understand in a better way. So before I do the splice, let's do the syntax of it. So how the syntax works, we have the splice and then we have to put the start index. We don't have to put the end index and we have to say delete count, how many items you want to delete. So it's called delete count. And after delete count, whatever I put, it will be inserted. I can say item 1, item 2, item 3. So item 1, 2 and 3 will be inserted in the array. And I will show you some example that will make easy for you to understand. So let's do some example and so we can understand what it means. So we are doing a splice. So I'll create a cities as an array where I will say Delhi is one of the array, uh, one of the element. Mumbai, Los Angeles, and London. So these four cities are there in this cities array. Okay, now what I will do, I will say bar A equal to, I will do the cities dot splice. I'm not doing slice, I'm doing splice. So here I want start index as one. So what is the one? It is the Mumbai. And I want to delete two elements. So two elements will be means Mumbai and Los Angeles. So I'm saying two elements to be deleted. I don't want to add any element. So I just say right now these two parameters start index and I will say how many elements I have to delete it. So I will say start from one that is from Mumbai and delete two elements. That means these two will be deleted and this original array will be modified. And these two, since these two will be deleted, these two will be returned to A. So let's see what it goes. So now A will be Mumbai and Los Angeles because these two got deleted from the cities. And now if I do cities, I'm getting Delhi and London. So these two are deleted. So what the, uh, what the splice did? It starts from the start index, that is one and deleted two elements and original array is modified. So when I'm doing cities, I get modified version of the array. Whereas 
when I was doing the slice, the original array remained same. It was not modified. It was not changed. But in the splice, the original array is modified. And we are deleting from the index and number of elements which we want to delete it. So this is the one of the example of splice. Let's take another example. I'll create this cities again. Okay, so cities is now complete four cities. And now what I will do, I will I will run again this one. Okay, cities dot splice. I'm running cities dot splice one and two. That means cities is modified. Cities is modified to Delhi and London. So what is the new value of cities? It's Delhi and London. These two are deleted. Now what I will do, I will say cities dot splice. I will say one. That is start index is one. This is a zero, and this is the one. So I'll say one, and then I will say zero. When I say zero as a second element, that means do not delete anything. What is the second parameter which we are passing? Delete count. When I pass zero, that means I say do not delete from the cities. And then I will put items which I want to add it. So I will say, let's say I will say Mumbai. Only Mumbai. So what will happen in this case? It will start with index one, that is from here. London will be pushed to the end. It will start from the here, and I'm saying del don't delete anything. Don't delete London. Don't delete anything. So I put zero as a second parameter. And third parameter will be inserted at the start index. So at one number position, this third number element will be inserted. So when I say city splice one zero Mumbai, then the return cities will be changed to following. It's saying Delhi. And Mumbai is added at the one number position, and London is pushed in the end. Okay, let's take a few more examples so it will be easy for you to understand. I will take months, and months is, for example, January and March. I forgot to add the February in this month list, so I want to add using the splice. I will say April, and then I will say June. I also forgot the May. Okay, let's put only this four months. Now what I will do with the splice, I will try to add the February month. So what I will say months dot splice. What position I want to add? At the one number position. How many elements I want to delete? I don't want to delete anything. I just want to add the item. So I will say zero. That means I don't want to delete the item. And what I want to add? I want to add Feb in the list. So what will happen now? At the position number one, zero element will be deleted and February will be added at the position number one. So if I press enter and if I check months, it's saying January, February, March, April and June. Now I want to add May also. So can anyone tell me the syntax for adding the May? Four zero May. Okay, zero one two three and four. So I have to say months dot splice. I have to delete. I, I I don't want to delete. I just want to add. At which element I want to add? At the number four. Four is here. Actually, right now four is June. But since I want to add May at this position, so four is the index. I don't want to delete anything. So I'll say zero. And I will add bay. Yeah, so to decal and so no one and all have given right answer. Now if I check the months, it's saying January, February, March, April, May, June. Now I want to add July, August, September, October, November, December. And I want to use only one line. I don't want to add multiple. So how will you add? 
after june i want to put july august september october november december with the one one statement i don't want to write multiple like this july then august i don't want to add multiple i want to use one line and add all the other months Though I can use push also to add the element at the end of the array, but right now since we are doing month splice, so I want the answer in the splice. Otherwise, I would have used month dot push and I would have added all the months. Okay, saying six zero, this so say zero one two three four five and six. Yes, yeah, so add six here and zero, and I can say. I can say July, August, September, October, November, and December. I could have used push, but I don't want to use push now. And if I want to check months, it's all is coming here. Okay, so let's try to do a few more examples so that it's very clear very clear with you okay let me clear this one let's check you know how to add now let me okay i'll create some fish names and name will be angel clown drum mandarin and star John. Okay, so this is the array, and I want to I want to delete clown, drum, and mandarin from the fish. How will I do that? Okay, month dot splice one three. So I have to delete from the one. I have to delete three elements. Yeah, so right. I will say fish dot splice one, and I have to delete three elements. So when I will do fish again, it will be angel and star gone. Okay, so that's correct. Now I will create fish again. Now what I want to do. I want to delete clown. Okay, I want to delete clown. I want to add a new face instead of clown that is called trumpet. How will I do that? I want to delete the clown and I want to use trumpet instead of clown. One, one trumpet. Okay, let's. And then they'll give an answer. Yes, I showed I showed how to add the months. I will do it again in one minute. Okay, so I will say fish dot splice. I will start with one because I have to delete. I have to start with this clown, and I have to delete one element, and I have to replace with trumpet. Yes, Kate is giving a given right answer. And when I check the fish again. So angel is there instead of clown. We have trumpet, drum, madrin, and star gun. Let's take another example. Okay, so how to add the month? So if we have the month uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, I want to add all the months after that. I will say months dot splice. I will say July. Oh, sorry, it was from the six position and zero element. I have to delete it, and I will say. July, August, September, like this. So it will be added. All this will be added at the end of the month array. 
I could have used push, but I am not using push. Okay, let's take one another example. I will take the fish again. Okay, this is my fish. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to delete angel and clown in this and I want to add following fishes instead of that. For example, parrot, anemone, and blue. These three fishes I want to add instead of these two. So I want to delete these two and I want to add these three. How will I do that? Okay, it's not month dot fish, it's uh, fish dot splice, right? Zero, and we're deleting two, and we're adding three, right? Anand and Anshi has given right answer. So I'll say fish dot splice. I want to start with the zero. I want to delete two elements, and I want to add these elements, parrot, and a mon, and blue. So I did angel, this is this is not to be worried about, we have to check fish again. Because we have to check the original array. We don't we should not worry about what is removed. This is something which we removed. When I run this command, whatever I get, it is something what I removed. And in the fish command I get parrot and M and blue. And these two are deleted and after that we follow all these ones. Okay, let's see some other example now. So I'll take fish again. Okay, this is fish. Now what you have to do? You have to remove two elements starting from the index 2. Remove two elements starting from index 2. Index 2 with this drum. Remove two elements, that is these two. Two, two. It's saying fish to second position and I want to delete two elements. Sorry, fish dot splice. Two, two. Okay, that is the correct. This is the correct. So now if I check fish, I'm getting angel, clown, and star gone. Okay, let's take again the fish. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to go backward. Okay, don't start from the front. I want to go backward and I want to delete this Mandarin. How will you do? I want to delete Mandarin, but I should not go from front. I want to go from the backward. Okay, splice minus two one, right. So if I want to go backward, I will say at minus two because this is minus one, this is minus two. So I want to start from this minus two position and I want to delete one element. And then when I check the fish, mandrid is deleted. Okay, one last example. Sorry, one last example is this. I have variable fruits. And fruit is banana, orange, apple, and mango. Now what I want to do, uh, at position 2, I don't want to delete. At position, I want to add two elements. And which elements I want to add? Lemon and kui. So at position 2, add two elements. Which is the position 2? 0, 1, and 2. This is the 2 position. I want to add at this 2 position, I want to add these 2. I don't want to delete anything. That means these 2 will be pushed backward. So 
So it's saying fruits dot splice to zero lemon tree, right? And she has given right answer. Ananda has given right answer. Fruits dot splice to zero lemon and kui. Okay, so when I check the fruits, I'm getting at two position lemon and kui and apple and mango is moved backward. <coughs> so if you see compare with the splice and the sorry splice and the slice I can do everything with splice which I can do with the slice slice is only something to delete the elements that also we can delete it from the splice but in the splice we can add also so we have the extra ability to add the items in the array so this is much better than the slice okay so many times I want to delete the items, I want to uh, add the items, I will prefer to use splice rather than slice. So my preference in doing is splice. But sometimes we don't want to modify the original array and we don't just want to delete the things, then the slice is the better choice. So you have to see the requirement and what, based on the requirement you have to do any, you have to take any of this splice or slice. But splice can do anything which slice can do. So if you have used splice also, in all the cases, then also it is fine. And this is used a lot in many of the practical project which we will do in future. Okay, so this is mostly used in our projects. This or slice, both are used, but splice I use always because it is, it, you know, do deletion and addition work together. Now what is the complexity of the splice or slice? or anything which we do in the array. So most of the things which we do in the array have the complexity of O of N. Since we are moving, since when I start index, we delete or we add the item, that means we are moving the items, we are touching all the elements in the array because we have to move the items to the end. That means all the elements are touched one time in the splice and that is the reason the complexity is O N. Most of the array has ON complexity. So just remember, whenever we touch all the elements, it is ON complexity. So that's all about the splice. I will create a notes page for this one splice and share it with you tomorrow. Now let's see, uh, uh, in two minutes, I will just see what you have done. Uh, I, I have got few more answers. I got few more answer. One is from the Anand. Let's run what Anand did for the project. So the project 2 uh, in the JavaScript. Yesterday I create Rakesh and I will create today new file anand.html. He has done it. Let's see what he has done. So he created, he created this random number and the number of 0 and there is a button and on button he put the query selector and on the button he added a event listener click function. He created this variable without let or var or constant. That means this this function will be uh, global. So generally we try to avoid the global variable name. So either you can create constant or var or whatever you want, but don't make it global. Your global will overlap with other variables and it may cause some problem, not in this case, but in other case when your site is very big. Okay, so now if I check, it's working fine. Okay, so only suggestion I'll give, just make this as, as a constant because it will be used only once. And this is, uh, we, it's checking the query selector and it is updating the query selector with the random number. So whenever the button is clicked, Whenever the button is clicked, you know, so there is also overhead. You, on every click, you are creating this function. So you can move this function to some generic up and so that, you know, you can, uh, you can avoid calling it again and again when you call the function. Okay, so no need to put this inside, inside the 
event listener because that means whenever the click will happen this random number is called again and again and it is constructed the only thing you need to call this one random number can be moved outside this event listener okay so that is from the anand i think others i got others from others also let me see who has sent I, I got so many emails, difficult to find with. Uh, Rakesh also sent me something without, uh, without, uh, you know, he yesterday he did different way, he did today with event listener. Let's see what he has done. Okay, it is this one. So let me open Rakesh and save as Rakesh 2. We created event listener and he shared that code. Let me create it. Okay, so now what he has done? Random number generator number is this. He, cre he also created the function without the constant late or var, and so this become the global variable. So though it will work in this case, but uh, it is global. So I generally try to over the global variables. This is a button, this is this one, and number one is, and he has put random number outside the event listener, so that is, that is a good thing, and he has done this. So, yeah, so everything is good, only thing, make this as a constant. Okay, and one more I got. Uh, one more I got, let me see one more. And that is, he shared in, in telegram okay let me see what he has done okay one more uh, ole dot html his name is so big i just say ole okay so this he has created this as a random number this is a zero generate number is a button he has created the function outside the event listener so that is a good thing and get random is the button, he created button, and count random is the dot num. Okay, he created a class, so he has used the dot num. And when he clicked the, he put the event listener on the get random, that is this button. Click function and count random number dot inner text. Count random number, that is num dot inner text. He put the generate function, and this is okay. Yeah, so this is also uh, good, right? So you can put inner text or you can put inner HTML. Both are okay in this case. So all three have done good job. I gave you the review, what things to be changed. And here I feel everything is okay. So maybe you can go through the video again and copy the code and try it yourself. Okay, those who have not done it. So that's all for today. Any questions?